Good day, folks. Well, I'm back after about a month. I put a video up around that time and it only lasted a couple of hours. So a lot of you guys never got to see it. Lucky for the ones that did. But it got pulled down and I ended up putting it up again, not realising uh, they, they took it down. I thought there was a glitch in the system. And after I put the second, after I put it up again, I got a seven day ban, a strike. So I thought, well, I'll have a go at trying to knock another video out. Sort of, a, I did try it a couple of weeks ago. It wouldn't happen. I couldn't do it for some reason. Just never happened. Anyway, I thought I'll progress along with the van a little bit more. And that'll give you a little bit more of a, uh, a tour of it. And we'll have a little discussion about what's going on in the world right now. So, well, for those that sort of didn't see the video, well, I've done a fair bit since that previous one. I've got a fair bit done, but I hadn't, I've only sort of worked around four hours a day on this, so through the week. Sometimes of a weekend I'll do a little bit, but just, just around four hours a day, so. And I'm just taking my time, I'm not rushing it, so. It's really enjoyable. God, it's great. I love this. I love it. Well, I've got the bathroom sort of mapped out or framed out and lined out with the timber. I'm going to, I want to line it all on the inside with the lamy panel. It's like a laminex, a thick laminex. Yeah, it comes with corner caps and trims and all that. So I'll just use white on the inside and I'll tile the floor. Put a little grade, like I said earlier in the other video, I've graded off, drain in the middle. And I'll fit my taps sort of over here with a with a handheld shower head. Be great, be fantastic. So that's coming along nicely. It's a good size. Love it. And I've done this little section here, which is the door leading into the cab. Yeah. Later down the track, when I've nearly finished the van, I'll pull the front seat out of it, the passenger seats, and I'll come from that other other side and I'll cut that out with a reciproco, nice and steady. Timber it out, sort of finish it off, and that'll be access in and out of the cab. And a little wall adjacent, the wall next to it. And that's been foamed and I've got my bulkhead plenty of storage up in there now it's great I'll line that out just where I can see just sort of from back this this way just along the, the front of it just to make it look a little bit nicer I get too carried away in there yeah it's coming along really well guys and I've done this side sliding door lined that out too it's had two coats of Cabot's water-based satin on it, so just a satin clear and water-based. So when you when you're applying it, you don't really get any smell. It's beautiful. So I'll probably give it four coats all up. So I'll let this. I'll leave this for a while, and as I get closer to finishing, I'll give it a light sand and uh, with some I don't know 280, 300 grit. Something fairly fine, and uh, I'll give it another two coats and finish it off. We're really liking the timber. We're actually going to paint it, but we've sort of decided against it uh, for the moment. We're just we're going to do the kitchen will be coloured doors, and the bench top will be a uh, a resin composite top. We're going to go timber, but because there's so much timber in here now, I think it'd uh, clash. So we'll keep. The same kitchen top will have the same in the dining, on the dining room there. I think it's going to look fantastic. I love this pine, guys. It's got a beautiful smell to it. It's just, it's gorgeous stuff. It really is. It's light and it's, it feels so homely and it's so warm in here, guys. I keep saying it. I keep saying it. It's crazy warm. This is a 200 watt globe. 
and it keeps it warm. It keeps it warm in here. It's unbelievable. And it stays warm even when the lights are out. Go back in an hour later. Feels like it's only dropped a degree. It's incredible. Just holds the heat. So it's paying off all that foam that I did. It's just, it's unbelievable. It really is. Love it. Well, this is the next little uh, job I ended up doing. Voila. So we've got the bed platform done. And I've walled off the back section and I've got a pair of doors that open inwards and we get a spectacular view if we uh, if we pull up at a beach or anywhere like that we can just pop the doors open on the outside swing them back around on the on the van and uh, just open these ones inwards and get a specky view it's great adds to the warmth adds to it just makes it feel nice now rather than looking at those doors you could never make them look nice i'll end up lining them but i'll probably line them with a seven mil ply the same as what i've lined this uh this bed with the bed frame i've lined it top and bottom with some seven mil structural ply I've, and the 30 by 30 mil treatment again I've kept them fairly tight. I think they're around 200 mil spacings right through. So it's really tight gaps and it's awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same 30 by 30 for slats every 100 mil apart. But we're going to have a 200 mil gap down either side of the bed. So, and that'll be great storage. I'll make some little units up for that. Just below the bed line so you don't hit your elbow on it. With just some nice little lift up lids and that'll run full length of the bed so that'll take up that bit of room because this is 1900 wide and the bed's only 1500 so we're going to have a couple of hundred mil either side be great be fantastic so and then underneath we've got we've got our garage so i painted it sort of Oh, well, I threw some paint down. I just had some black, satin black. I think it looks quite nice. And that can set me up for well, plenty of room now to set up all my gas, hot water unit, my gas bottles, which I'll have to make a, a separate little unit inside, seal it off with a vent through the floor. Uh, my diesel heater, uh, my battery bank set up for the off-grid, which is down in the corner there, I've got just a car battery at the minute, testing everything. Yeah, and eventually put an air conditioner in. And I'll have some storage here too, just at the front, in this section here, a couple of doors. And I'll make them out of the same, out of the pine. And there'll be, and I may, I may put a back on it and some sides, and that's a separate, a separate, um, little unit or just leave it open I'm not sure I, I probably will seal it just so we've got a, a good seal underneath um, for, for noise control and whatever but uh, yeah so that's heaps of room really happy with that kept it very light but really strong the spacings are perfect it's quite solid it'll work really well and the added benefit is if if, if if we want, we can always drill some holes in this and fill this up with foam because we've got cavities, 200 mil cavities right through. So I could do that if I really wanted to. And uh, it looks fantastic. I'll pop the doors open and I'll show you. Voila! Look at that. Doesn't that look good? Probably not coming out real nice on the outside of the picture, but you get the idea of it. It's incredible. Imagine being parked at a beach or at a, let's say somewhere just where you can see out and see the mountains. I think it'll look unbelievable. Absolutely thrilled with it. Fantastic. I'll show you outside in the back. Looks amazing. Really, really happy with it. A lot of thought went into it. And it was a really fiddly one too, that one. 
but I'm very pleased with it, very pleased. I can line that if I'm wanting to with the 7mm ply. Uh, I'm a bit undecided at the minute whether to do it or not. I'll definitely do the doors, the, uh, the back doors. But this section here, I may just hold off. But if I feel the cold or it's a little issue, I can always line it and I can always fill it up with foam again. It's a great way of insulating. It's just a matter of drilling drilling a couple of holes in each of these little cavities and squirt some foam in there and it just, it just works so well. So that's how it's looking at the minute, guys. It's coming along beautifully. So the next job will be to do the start on my overhead cupboards that are going to run along sort of the full length either side. So we'll get a start on those while it's nice and easy. And then run some plumbing lines. Uh, and then maybe start on the dining table and dining in the dining section there. So and probably start fitting off some equipment underneath. So plenty to do, plenty to do. It's just picking out what I want to do first. It's, I'm really excited at this stage now. I'm very proud of myself and never fitted a van out, but it just seems to, all that building experience of my whole life seems to be paying off. It's awesome. Wow, all right, we'll head back in to the van. Ah, sitting down. Oh, that's nice. It's very nice. Well, there's a bit going on in the world, guys. There's a lot of stuff going on, especially here in Australia. It seems to be making news worldwide at the moment. We've got huge protests happening. Uh, harsh, harsh lockdowns. I'm very lucky here in Tasmania. We haven't had any of that. I feel very, very blessed, to be honest. You know, we, we've only got a sign in uh, where you go into shops and whatnot. So, and I don't do that. Never wear a mask and I won't sign in. That's just my sovereignty being, my right as a sovereign being. Yeah, but there's a lot going on in the mainland. Whew, heaps. Lots of uh, truths are starting to come out in this world. If you're a little bit uh, observe, a bit of an if you're observant, observant, the word is, you'll uh, you'll start to see things aren't making sense. There's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff that now they're putting even on mainstream media. It doesn't make sense. So truths are starting to leak out. It's called the Great Awakening. This is what's happening. It's the Great Awakening. We're going through a shift, guys. This is what's happening. We are going through a shift in consciousness. Now, we live in a 3D matrix, which is based upon materialistic ideas. We're not really in touch with our inner self. Um, and it works. It works, but it doesn't really, it hasn't, well, it hasn't succeeded. Look what's happened to the earth. Look what's happened to every, all the, the governments worldwide. They're all starting to uh, become very harsh towards the people with these crazy lockdowns, um, these forced mandates on certain things. And people are starting to question that narrative. So it's only a matter of time and the truth will, will come out. It's going, to, it's going to flood. It's like the, the heavens will open <laughs> with truth. And uh, no, no one can avoid it. But at the moment, it's just trickling out here and there. For the ones that are paying attention are starting to see uh, through the veil, so to speak. Yeah. I've, look, guys, I've had a huge awakening. My life's changed, and it's not the same. I'm a lot more aware now of uh, what's going on in the world. I'm a lot more in tune with myself. 
I'm actually starting to to understand. Well, I'm actually starting to find out who I am. You know, I've, you know, I'm nearly 53. Two years ago, this started. Two, two and a half years ago, this this journey of mine started. And the trigger was, it was with my wife, with her illness of MS. She's had it nearly 10, oh, about 10 years. The hospital system nearly killed her. Twice. Uh, the first time was through uh, chemo-based drugs to try and suppress the immune system. That's what MS does. They say it's an overactive immune system which attacks itself. And so they give you chemo-based drugs to try and slow it down. Well, it didn't work in uh, my wife's case. It actually put her in a wheelchair, quick sticks, after about six months of of uh, using this drug and ended up nearly killing her. She was psychologically scarred big time and her health, she fell away to nothing. She could hardly move. Every time we had to put her in a sling just to, to get her out of bed, put her into bed, to get her out of the car, in the car. Uh, literally, it was it was end days for her. And we we stumbled across the truth and we've been on a journey since then and we've given up on the medical system completely uh, we have our own natural uh, natural therapies uh, very clean diet uh, supplements and a lot of inner work and i say that as spiritual work inner spiritual work and my wife's not far off walking. She gets up out of bed on her own, can literally put herself to bed bar throwing the covers over. And I can sort of do that, that's no big deal. Um, she can literally shower, no, not quite shower herself. Well, she once the shower's on, she can take care of herself. Uh, she can dress herself. She couldn't do any of that uh, two, two and a half years ago, three years ago, barely living. She was barely surviving and that's where we hit rock bottom. And Yeah, from that time on, we, we had a big revelation. We just found out that uh, this, this whole health system is not really uh, beneficial to us. It might seem it is, but it's not. Trust me, it's a lot of those are poisons. And we, we have to wake up to that fact. So it's happening right now as you speak. Like, I'm not going to delve into it too much, but the old bit that goes in the side of the arm that everyone's been talking about, the shot, uh, that's not what it seems. Truth starting to come out on that. So some doctors aren't even calling it a vaccine. Sorry for the word. Oh, I'm going to have to edit that bit out. <laughs> yeah. But you know what I mean, guys, it's, it's, it's this, what's going on on this planet at the moment is, is a shift. It's the start of this great shift of human consciousness. So we're going to start raising our awareness, raising our frequency, all vibrations, as you want to, as a lot of people calling it, which means raising your awareness to the truth. Yes, for some it will be very painful. Yes, it was a little bit painful for us to find out the truth. But goodness me, when you find the truth, guys, you will never, ever regret it. You will never, ever look back. Your life will completely change in such a positive way. But unfortunately, a lot, a lot of people won't look at it. They'll keep their heads buried and it's going to get... It's going to get louder and louder and it's oh, it's it's going to get really biblical here in the next few months because there's some big revelations coming, big revelations. So I haven't watched TV in six and a half years. So probably the day I turned that TV off was the day I, I started to not believe in this system. And goodness me, hasn't it, hasn't it been a journey? It's been an incredible journey. 
My wife and I can take charge of our own destiny now. We're not relying on any government uh, for advice. We don't need any medical system. Of course, if we break a leg, unfortunately, or something of that nature, yes, we'll need it. But as far as health goes, we know how to look after ourselves. We know how, we know how to heal. And that's a very powerful thing when you can when you can uh, work that out. It gives you incredible sovereignty, and sovereignty means gives you a feeling of of uh, certain amount of power within that you can control or can look after yourself and not have to rely on the system. And uh, this is this is what this whole awakening process is teaching everyone. But I will talk about it a bit more now. I'll, I've um, I've had a few look, guys. I've had it. It's been it has been up and down. Like a lot of the information that's come my way has really rocked me. There's been some terrible things that's gone on on this earth, and that's all going to come to light. And it's it's horrific to say the least. I think that's going to scare a lot of people from opening their eyes and what's actually been really going on. You know, we're thinking we're living in this idyllic on this planet and it's all been fun and games well it has been to a certain extent on the level on the surface but beneath and i say that literally beneath the surface is another world and it's it's not pretty but it has to be faced we have to face up to this if we are to move forward as a collective humanity if we keep ignoring this we will end up uh losing this planet so this is what it's all about the people are pushing back against the government because the government are part of the problem and uh, they need to be uh, in my opinion they need to be removed because what's going on is quite uh, it's almost like Nazi Nazi days it really is and it's just getting worse and worse and it's just so good to see people pushing back. I love it. I really love it. All right, guys. Well, that's my little talk for today. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll ponder on another video in the next few days. And I'll talk a little bit more about it. It's just my opinion, guys. Take it for what it's worth. Do your own research. You don't have to take it as gospel. But just do your own research on it because the information's there. And go in with an open mind. If you've got a closed mind and you don't want to look at it, fair enough, don't look. No one's forcing you to do anything. But if you're curious, have a look. Because there's a lot of information out there now, guys, and it's getting very loud. And a lot of people are waking up. Look at the rallies all over the world. Millions and millions of people. It's phenomenal. It's called the Great Awakening. And it's great. All right, guys, I'll pop one up soon. Catch you later.